Ping pong is a beautiful game. It's just very diverse. It, it allows young kids and old people to play, yet it's also an Olympic sport. So it, it has a great complexity to it, yet it's the simplest game you can play. Spin is very um, multi-dimensional. Like during the daytime, it's a ping pong club. The ping pong clubs in America traditionally aren't very impressive. They're usually forgotten about with very little money. But we wanted to create something that was more artful for ping pong players, where someone that wasn't interested in ping pong would come and watch a high level match while they have a martini. It's very much a bar lounge and also a ping pong club. It is really, arguably the best ping pong club in America in terms of the facilities. We have locker rooms and we have the Olympic standard flooring and we have the nicest ping pong tables you can get and perfect lighting. Like, allocating enough space around the tables is very important too. For we get the best players in America, we get international top players, we've had Olympic gold medalists and world champions. Ladies and gentlemen, four times world champion, Michael Applegreen. That was my goal, was to lure the greatest players in the world as entertainment and art for people to watch. Every Friday night we host, uh, it's, a, it's kind of a pro ping pong tournament slash circus. It's a dozen of the top players that happen to be in New York City on any given Friday and they all compete for a $500 cash prize and in between matches we have sort of variety shows like musicians, like jazz musicians or crazy kind of weird shows of sorts. And we do dance contests a lot of times with the crowd. We also have a, a comedian MC and we have DJ. Hanging out at a nightclub at this point in time is kind of boring. Having something to do is just a background thing and because we have a weird mixture of sort of seriousness for ping pong, yet yeah, sense of humor, um, and also we really, I do, like to think of it more artfully. New York is a great socializing city. In a really crowded marketplace amongst the most in the world, it's an original kind of venue. If you can be original in New York, it usually translates. It personifies what I love about New York, which is very niche, nuanced, eccentric, kind of weird businesses. Just have some originality and a twist on something. And on top of the originality of the whole place, it's really cool that we have this great subway window that's almost makes the subway art. And from the subway side, it makes our ping pong sort of artful in a sense. Ping pong just fell out of the sky, literally, and landed on top of me. Through a series of coincidences, we ended up buying a ping pong table for our office. We had a documentary production company. The ping pong table became the focus of our lives and it just completely, completely consumed us. We stumbled upon this competitive world of table tennis in America, which is very small but extremely interesting. We just got more and more into it and everything kind of worked out in the ping pong arena. So. Long story short, we were able to open uh, Spin New York in 2009. And then within one year, we actually opened a franchise in Milwaukee. It's important to us that we open as many clubs as possible so we can create cool social clubs that connect to each other. <laughs>